In this video, you will get to know in detail about credit memo for purchasing in SAP Business One. In SAP Business One, the purchase credit memo functions as your internal documentation of the credit memo process for accounting purposes or to control the shipping of the involved items. For an example, if you ordered 50 CD boxes, the vendor delivered the items and the invoice. After we entered the AP invoice into SAP Business One, but had not yet paid the vendor, you identified that five boxes were defective. We use the goods return request to begin the return process. Here we enter the reason for the return and any information from the vendor about how to return the product. Since the invoice had already been created, the system creates an AP credit memo from the goods return request. We cannot create a goods return with reference to the goods receipt PO since an AP invoice already exists. The AP credit memo has the same effect as a goods return. The credit memo updates the stock quantities and corrects the values in accounting. Since in this case, we were able to create the credit memo by copying the items from goods request return to the AP invoice, the system finds the same accounts that were used to post the invoice and posts a negative value to them. However, in some cases, it may not be appropriate to copy items to a credit memo from an invoice. For example, if the credit was for a price difference rather than for returning items or if the credit referred to an AP invoice that we had already paid. Thanks for watching this video. Do write us for any queries.